Part 3, Chapter 5, Outer Power She named herself Malice, my greatest rival. She became my greatest enemy. From the Journals of Ravania Imanalia. Ravania gritted her teeth as another laser blade slash got through her defenses, opening a bleeding wound in her flesh, cutting too easily through the thin but enormously durable weave of her white and blue uniform. She flipped backward from her attackers and landed in a crouch, trying to take a breath. The shorter of her opponents wouldn't allow it. He hurled toward Ravania and threw his sword as he went, reaching behind himself to grab laser blade knives. Ravania knocked the sword aside as he hurtled true toward her, and then tucked in a roll, trying to avoid the flying knives, but cried out and stumbled as one sunk deep into her thigh. Gritting her teeth, she twisted and threw her sword at the shorter Prosathian. It spun through the air at him, and he had no chance to get out of the way as the flaming blade bisected his body. His momentum carried him forward still, and he landed with meaty thumps on either side of Ravania. She stood, calling her sword back to her hand and glared at her final foe as she tore the knife from her thigh. Behind her, she heard Nell fighting with his remaining opponent. Gruva was always hasty, the taller Prosathian said to Ravania in a snarl, and he reached up, pulling the mask from his face, revealing a familiar visage, though it was marred with scars and tattoos of the Zaku cult. Sedrival, Ravania said in a whisper. What? The Prosathian sneered. You thought after all this time I would forget about my brother? That we would forget about our blood and let it slide? I heard rumors that Zaku's brothers had started the cult, Ravania growled. We sent the loyal, the skilled. Everyone we've sent, you've killed. I didn't start this, Ravania replied. If you send people to kill me and those I love, I will fight back. You cheated, Zaku. You forced him down the path he took, and then you killed him. That will not go unpunished. You don't know how long we've trained for this day, for this moment. The hells we've endured to get strong enough, fast enough, powerful enough to kill you. At that, he rushed forward, and Ravania met his sword with hers. There was no question about Cedrival's prowess as he drove Ravania backward. There was hate and fury, fanaticism in his reptile eyes. But there was also focus, terrible, frightening focus. Ravania ducked as Cedrival swung for her head. She fell back on one hand and swept her leg at his. He leapt over the attack and plunged his sword down at her as he dropped back to the ground. Ravania rolled out of the way and the laser blade sunk into the street. She was on her feet in a moment and Cedrival yanked his weapon out of the concrete, throwing himself at her again. Their swords clashed once more and Ravania felt herself being pushed backward again. She couldn't let this go on. She leapt up, over Cedrival's head, tucking into a flip and landing behind him. She ran a few paces ahead and spun around. She thrust her sword up into a pocket dimension and focused on Cedrival as he charged toward her. As he neared her, Ravania enveloped her right fist with bluish-white energy and dropped down to one knee, punching her hand into the pavement. The ground shattered and crumbled, breaking apart in large pieces, opening fissures in the street. Cedrival, with perfect coordination, leapt on large pieces of the broken street, avoiding all of the fissures, continuing straight on for Ravania. Growling in her throat, Ravania threw up her right hand and sent a spiraling beam from her open palm as Cedrival hurtled directly at her. She tumbled out of the way as her beam hit the Prosathian and caused him to cry out. Cedrival tumbled and grunted, landing on the street near the railing on the far side. He tumbled into the glass partition and slumped. Ravania returned to her feet and she looked at him, where he was sitting motionless on the ground. Did I get him? She wondered, and heard Nell still fighting with his foe. She was about to turn and go to his aid, but she heard laughing. Laughing that was coming from Cedrival. Ravania narrowed her eyes at him and watched the Prosathian push himself up on one hand, his left hand. His right hand was a smoking stump. Cedrival returned to his feet and was still laughing as he looked at Ravania with his sinister eyes. He looked down at the spot where his right hand had been, and he laughed all the harder, holding up his stump. You're crazy, Ravania sneered at the Prosathian. Oh, come now, Ravania, Cedrival purred. I'm not the first you've faced like this. 
Why do they laugh, Ravenia? Why do your foes laugh at you? Either they are holding something back from you and are not afraid, or they have nothing to lose. <laughs> or both. He grinned at Ravania, showing his teeth. Which one? he asked. Do you suppose I am? As he said it, a flaming hand burst forth from the charred stump. The thing seemed to be made of energy and light and fire. Cedrival held it out toward Ravania letting a great torrent of fire vomit toward her. Ravania rolled out of its path as behind her a building on the street was reduced to rubble. I told you we were prepared for this, Ravania. Prepared to kill you once and for all. Cedrival laughed as the last of the Amara returned to her feet. I was only using a portion of the power I'd gained for this day. Face it, Ravania. This is the day that you pay. This was not normal. This power. This was something Ravania recognized, but something that did not come naturally to a Prosathian. Where did you get this power? Ravania asked, frowning at Cedrival. <laughs> Recognize it? He chortled. You should, considering who gave it to us. Malice. Ravania growled. Cedrival ran at Ravania, kicking and punching. He attacked with his real hand and the flaming one, endowed upon him by the dark mistress, Star Queen Malice. Ravania met Cedrival's attacks with kicks and punches of her own, twisting, rolling, flipping. She felt every hit of the flaming hand. It burned her clothing and seared her skin. You will pay! Cedrival howled at her. This is bad, Ravania thought. This is really bad. Thank you for listening. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And there are more episodes on the way.